This is Credit Model Academic Enhancement Code GMAT 41. You are welcome to our introduction to calculus. In this video, we are going to consider techniques of integration in integral calculus. There are four major techniques that we're going to look at. We talk about the integration using your substitution, which is what you have on the board. We talk about integration by partial fraction, which means you should know how to resolve different types of partial fraction. Three, we talk about integration by polynomial, which means you should know polynomial. What in polynomial actually? Polynomial division. And then three, you should know your uh, integration by part technique, rather. So that's the fourth method, integration by what? Part. These four techniques, we're going to consider that. But we are starting with the U substitution. We start by asking, when are you expected to use U substitution? Now you listen to this, and you can even put it down in writing, okay? You use U substitution when you notice in the expression given to you that if you differentiate one of the term, you would get the other one. That is to say, if one function there is a derivative of the other one. Imagine I give you integral two terms, A and B, and then you notice that if you differentiate A, you get what? B. Even if you don't get B exactly, but you get something that is very close to B, let's say there are about 99% of B, you should use U substitution to handle that. Have you put this down in writing? Very important because that's the secret. And you must observe very well to be sure that you see something like that before you think of U substitution. You don't just dive into using it. Is that okay? You should know the reason for using that. Now, we have two cases of U substitution. The first where you have a fractional term and the second where you have what? A multiplied term. That is product. Now, we're going to look at this first. Imagine you're giving y to be equal to integral u prime over u. This simply means integral du over u or integral 1 over u du. They mean the same thing. And then you see the standard that the result will give you lean u plus c. That is lean of the denominator plus c. What does that mean? Please look at this. This simply means I give you something to integrate and then you notice a fractional term. You notice that if you differentiate the denominator, you will get the word numerator. Then the answer of that integral is simply lean of the denominator. Now if you differentiate u, you get du. Is that not so? Now let us look at some examples here. Look at the first one, integral 1 over x dx. If you differentiate this x, what will you get? You get 1, which is the numerator here. Therefore, the result of this integral is simply lean of the denominator. That's what your substitution is telling us. You mustn't go to start saying, let the denominator be equal to u, du, dx. It's a waste of time. This is a standard which you should know. Now look at another example here. If you give me y equal to integral cos x over sine x, if you differentiate the denominator here, what would you get? You get cos x, is that not so, which is the numerator. And therefore the result, without even bothering yourself, is lean of the denominator. That is lean sine x plus c. Can you watch this? The denominator is x squared plus 2x. If you differentiate it, you get 3x squared plus 2, which is what you have in the numerator. And therefore the result of this is simply lean of what? The denominator. Minator. When we come back, we are going to look at this case B for product term. Alright, you're welcome from a short break and we want to look at your substitution case B where you have multiplication. Is that okay? Now what do we have here? You have y to be equal to integral u raised to power n dot u prime. That dot u prime the same as u raised to the power n times du. That's what it means. So the integral expression is, if you integrate this, your result would be u raised to the power n plus 1. That is add 1 to this n and divide by what? n plus 1. That is the new power. Put plus c. Now what is the essence of this? You listen to this now. You can even put it down if necessary. This is what we are talking about here. I give you two expressions to be multiplied. Imagine I have this marker and this. They have been multiplied and I am to integrate it. All I will check first is, okay, this thing, do they belong to the same class of function, All right? Okay, if they do, if you differentiate this marker, will you get this one? If the answer is yes, then your problem is solved. Go to this, add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power. That's the trick. So, all we need to do here, like, if you want to start, forget about this power. Forget it. Assume that there is no end there. Then differentiate this u. If you differentiate u, you get du. 
So it means you are simply going to move to this, add 1 to the power, and divide by that new power. Now, I have some examples here. Y is equal to the integral cos x sine x dx. Now, if you look at this, if I differentiate sine x, I would get cos x exactly. Therefore, I will come to this sine x. You know, this sine x is the same as sine x, everything raised to the power 1. Add 1 to it, you get sine x raised to the power 2 divided by 2. I know that sine x all in bracket raised to the power 2 is the same as sine square x over 2. So this becomes the result plus c. Now let us look at this case as well to integral sine square x cos x dx. How do you start? First, forget about this power. Assume that the power is not there. Then if you differentiate sine x, you get cos x. Is that not so? Therefore, go to this, add 1 to that power of sine x. If you add 1 to this, you get sine cube x over 3 plus c. Then let us look at this. y is equal to integral in x over x dx. Please, I want you to notice that this is the same as integral 1 over x ln x, then dx. You notice that if you differentiate this ln x, what would you get? In, if you differentiate ln x, you're going to get this 1 over x. Therefore, it means you're using this form of u substitution. Add 1 to the power of this ln x. This ln x already is the same as ln x raised to the power 1. Everything is power 1. If you add 1 to it, you get ln x squared over what? 2, which is the same as ln square x over 2 plus c. The same thing applies here as regard this as well too. This is integral ln cube x over 3, dx. Once again, forget about this power. If you differentiate ln x alone, you will get 1 over this x. Therefore, add 1 to this power, you get ln 4x over 4 plus c. So that is that about use substitution. We're going to see more cases about it. Is that okay? On how we play around it.